Jack the Ripper is a British artist named Walter Richard Sickert. There are lots of reasons that make sense that this man could have been turned into a monster. By using modern technology, Patricia was able to find new clues in a 125-year-old photograph. Mary Kelly was a very different scenario. When she was murdered in the first, the early part of November of 1888, she was the only indoor crime scene that we know of. When he killed her, he then set about mutilating her body in a way we had not seen before in the Ripper case. He removed all her organs. He removed her face. The team of scientists I brought included a forensic documents examiner. One of the things I wanted to do, these are very old, poor quality photographs. Can we use modern computer processing? What can we do to sharpen this up as best we can? And I pulled up this photograph of her to look at the room, and I went, what is that on the wall? And I felt my hair stand on end. And I said, holy crap, how could I never have seen this before? You're so shocked by the severe mutilation of her body and her organs and her flesh piled on a table that you're not looking at the wall behind her, which was offering a great blank canvas for a psychopathic artist who might have been sitting on her bed, flaying her to the bone. And I looked at this image and I said, OK, it looks almost like a caricature of himself. It looks like somebody was signing his work, so to speak. No one's ever found this before. People were horrified by this scene. They were absolutely traumatized by it. It was so violent, so ghastly. I mean, her former lover, the man who just moved out, when he went into the dead house, he identified her by an earlobe and maybe an eye. He couldn't identify her by anything else. When Patricia looked at Walter Sickert's artwork, she became even more convinced she'd found her man. The way he depicts women, very different men have features on their faces. Men look like human beings, the women don't. You can have the beauties, give me the hags. The fatter, the uglier, the skinnier, the better. He loved his women ugly. And his friends remarked on his taste that he loved slums. They didn't understand why somebody like him was attracted to these things. This is very interesting because he was famous for going to the music halls, which were very body variety shows. And he would go to the music halls, a lot of them in, real, in the East End and run down parts of town. They let out about the same time as these murders were occurring on the streets. And they were very sexually charged environments. And I believe he sat in the music halls doing little sketches on cheap pieces of paper. Some of them he dated, which is our only real dates of placing him in London at certain times during the Ripper crimes. And we can place him there on at least for at least three of them because of his music hall sketches. And there's this remarkable series that I found in Brighton of these three music hall sketches. He mounted a whole bunch of them on a piece of poster board. He did it himself. And in one, you can imagine him sitting in the audience and there's a woman in front of him with her back to him. And then he turns her around. And as he turns her around, she has no face, but what he does is in two of the ones where he turned her around, he stabbed her 17 and 19 times in the chest with his pencil. Bam, 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 bam. And I was standing there with two art historians when I discovered this, and I said, can you please tell me an artistic reason for this? Because the pencil's almost gone through the paper. And they looked at it, and they go, no, I can't think of any reason for that. When she compared one of Walter Sickert's paintings to a photograph of one of Jack the Ripper's victims, she couldn't believe her eyes. One of the things the Ripper says in a letter when he talks about one of the women he murdered, he says, I gave her a very pretty necklace. And this lady has on a very pretty necklace, and this lady has on a really ugly one. But I looked at that and I said, again, this is not proof of anything, but you have to look because it's another layer. Watch the next installment of Patricia Cornwell's investigation into Jack the Ripper at Amazon.com.